<laughs> There's that noise. No matter what we do, the cicadas of brood 10 will emerge soon. That means we'll see the bugs almost everywhere and it will have a big impact on our daily routines. For some people, the cicadas are just too much, though. In fact, there is even a condition called cicada anxiety. To find out how to handle brood 10, reporter Raven Richards spoke with an expert from TriHealth and a cicada support group. For Michelle Dillingham. People are like, eh, it's just bugs, but they're good for the environment. The fear of cicadas is real. That just doesn't help. Back in 2004, I would drive around and do a lot of home visits. And I remember when this happened, um, being in my car and literally having to call my clients and say, I am too afraid to get out of my car. Like you're gonna have to come to my car to meet with me today. And now that the cicadas are just days away, she's even more ready than before. Dillingham searched Facebook and couldn't find a support group for cicada anxiety. So she created her own called Cincinnati Cicada Phobia Safe Space. A lot of the discussion is like, strategies for like protective clothing. I will count myself in one of those people that, you know, it's not my favorite thing, but you know, okay, I can manage it to people who talk about the fact that they don't leave their home. Patty Banks from Tri Health confirms that cicada anxiety is real. Take a couple deep breaths, you know, get yourself into a place where you're mentally ready. Remind yourself, I can handle this. I can do this. Banks is the supervisor of the employee assistance program at TriHealth and says, don't be afraid to talk to your employer about your fear and various options for you. She also suggests sticking with your usual routine as best as you can, which all goes back to why Dillingham started her Facebook group that anyone can join. They are coming. We're going to have to be living with these things for a while. So what can we do to help each other figure out how to cope with them? In Cincinnati, Raven Richard, WCPO 9 News. Luckily, they're harmless. Try health leaders say parents should try to try their best to stay calm around their children when facing cicadas so their children won't be afraid themselves. They also suggest educating them about the insects, maybe even finding fun activities just to ease their minds.